It is officially official. The Green Bay Packers have traded Aaron Rodgers to the New York Jets. After waiting what felt like months for this trade to happen, just three days before the 2023 NFL Draft, it has been announced the Packers and Jets have agreed to a mega trade, sending four-time MVP Aaron Rodgers to the Jets for major compensation. The deal includes a second rounder this year, a first round pick swap this year, and a conditional first rounder in 2024. So this is actually very close to the trade I kept using in my mock drafts every week, except I kind of went away from the swapping 15 and 13, but in previous mocks I have done that. That's also really nice that this, that is included in this trade as well, because now the Packers pick two more spots higher up in the first round, where this draft, I feel it like kind of drops off after the first 15 prospects. So the Packers moving up two spots is, I think, really going to help them especially if they want to go after a player like Jackson Smith and Jigba, who I believe would go in the top 13. So now that the Packers are at 13, maybe they do have a chance to stay put at 13, grab JSN, or move up and, and, and draft JSN, or a plethora of other players that might not have been there originally at 15. And the official compensation is as follows. The Jets get Aaron Rodgers, pick 15, and a 2023 fifth round pick, which is pick number 170. The Packers get pick 13, a 2023 second pick number 42 that was previously Cleveland's a sixth round pick and a conditional 2024 second round pick that becomes a first if Rodgers plays 65 percent of the plays so now the Packers have 11 total draft picks going into this upcoming draft so they could definitely move around in this draft move up if they need to not too happy about the Packers losing that fifth round but they are gaining a sixth round back and the Packers currently didn't have a sixth round pick so now they do and I am happy with that condition on that second round draft pick that can turn into a first if he plays 65% of the time. So as long as Aaron Rodgers doesn't suffer a significant injury, the Packers will end up with a first round pick next year, which I think will be huge. And honestly, I am actually really happy with this trade compensation. I'm sure some people will be upset that it didn't include, you know, the 13 overall pick and the Packers got to keep 15 because a lot of people were saying, oh, a first round pick or nothing. But at the end of the day, Aaron Rodgers is a quarterback turning 40 years old and is due a lot of money. The Packers are still going to be paying Aaron Rodgers a lot of money this year. But considering they're trading him now and not waiting even longer, once they're done with this year paying him that $40 million, they don't owe him anything else. So for future years, he's going to be off the books. And I think that has tremendous value on its own. And just as I'm talking about this, I just read a tweet from Tom Pelissero stating, it'll be a day or two before the Aaron Rodgers trade is submitted to the league office. He'll sign a revised contract with the Packers to facilitate the trade and help Green Bay's cap. But everything has been agreed to and will be official before the draft. He'll be a Jet. So that's also interesting to note because as it stands right now, um, a pre-June 1st trade, which is what this will be, an Aaron Rodgers salary cap would be $40 million. It would jump up from that $31 million to $40 million, and then nothing next year. So considering they're restructuring that a little bit, maybe they're going to lower that down a bit and then also pay a little bit next year. But I'm assuming they're not going to do it like a post-June 1st trade would be, where it would have been a $16 million cap hit this year and $24 million cap hit next year. I'm sure they want to get rid of most of that this year when they ha kind of have the money you know, pay what's due, eat the contract, and then have maybe just a little bit next year, go into next year with the most money possible, Jordan Love on his fifth year rookie option, and surround him with other free agents because they'll be able to. And obviously this was a long time coming, so us Packers fans have been ready for Aaron Rodgers to not be on the Green Bay Packers. I loved Aaron Rodgers in the green and gold. I mean, he was basically most of my childhood at quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. Um, I grew up watching Brett Favre, and he's the reason I do like football. But as I got older, it really was Aaron Rodgers, and he is the most talented quarterback I think I have ever seen in my entire life. And I do believe he is the most talented quarterback in, in NFL history. So it's going to be sad to see him go. I'm glad it's going to be to an AFC team. I truly do hope he succeeds over there um, on the New York Jets. And I'm definitely never going to forget all the memories I have of Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I feel like there's just so many you can't even count all of them. The crazy times, the crazy games, the wild finishes, everything to do with Aaron Rodgers. It has been a joy to watch him in the green and gold. I'm sure he'll play about two years in New York, then retire. And obviously he'll be retired a Green Bay Packer. Number 12 will be retired. 
and he'll be put into the Packers Hall of Fame, and he'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer. That is no question at all. I'm definitely going to miss how real Aaron Rodgers was, too, from late in his career um, with all the press conferences onto the Pat McAfee show. I feel like he said what he wanted to say, and not a lot of people in the NFL do that, and I definitely respected that, so I am definitely going to miss that. But at the same time, it always brought like negative media around, and that's just how things happen. But I, I am going to miss how real Aaron Rodgers was, and he spoke the truth every time he had the chance to. But I am ready to move on to Jordan Love. I think it's going to be a new era, and it may not start well, and it may not end well with Jordan Love, but I feel like I'm ready for that. Like I said, I've seen back-to-back Hall of Fame quarterbacks my entire life as a Packers fan, and I feel like I have been very privileged and even entitled to have watched both of these guys play for the Packers, so I'm almost just kind of ready to see what the next era is of the Green Bay Packers, and I know a lot of people will say, oh, well, you weren't alive during the 80s. You don't want to see that, but honestly, I am ready to see what's come. I'm going to be a Packers fan my entire life. I bleed green and gold. Nothing is going to make me leave um, being a Packers fan, even if they were to not win a game this year. I'm still going to be a Packers fan, so I'm just very interested and, to be honest, excited for the future, and that might not even be with Jordan Love. We're going to see how it goes this year, most likely next year as well. And then we might be in an entirely different situation, drafting a quarterback yet again. But I'm just excited for that journey. It was very clear Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers relationship was coming to an end. And for them to get some draft capital back, and honestly, I think it's a pretty good haul with the first round swap, the second round this year, the first round uh, conditional next year. I think that's a great haul for an aging quarterback. Yes, he's a four-time MVP, one year removed from back-to-back MVPs. And I do think he's going to go and play really well in New York. And, you know, will play better than Jordan Love if you compare the stats at the end of the year next year. Uh, But getting that for a quarterback that's turning 40 years old and has a massive contract that would be a detriment to your team um, for monetary reasons in the next few years, I I think that's just a win-win there. But I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Obviously, we've been thinking about this for months, so we've been, you know, kind of understanding and and starting to really get used to the feeling of Aaron Rodgers not being a Green Bay Packer because we knew he wasn't returning to the Packers for the last two months now. But I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. What is your initial reaction of the draft haul? Because like I said, we knew this trade was happening, but now we finally see the compensation. Me personally, I'm okay with it. I'm happy with it. I think it's a good draft haul. I'm excited for this upcoming draft. Super, super excited. And then next year, which is an even stronger draft class, the Packers could potentially have two first round picks. And I think that will be huge going into the future with Jordan Love or any other quarterback to have multiple first round picks next year and get a ton of talent. Also, be on the lookout for my final mock draft before this NFL draft. Finally, this trade is done so I can make a real mock draft with the actual compensation. Be on the lookout for that on this channel. But that about does it for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, go Pack Go.